Okay, hi folks, welcome back, Adventures in Vietnam. And as you can see, I'm back up in the house after a little bit of a hiatus. I haven't had much time to do any videos. I've been mainly taking care of Maya and Thuy because Thuy is seven months pregnant and she needs rest and she needs care. She, um, but despite needing rest and care, she's still flying about everywhere, um, teaching English and shopping and for food, that is. But yeah, we've been really busy preparing for baby and, you know, what a busy last three months we've had since moving to Vietnam, buying a house, starting a school, building the brewery stuff, raising Maya. It's just endless. But despite that, not one to let anything get me down, not even the bloody gloomy weather we've had for the last three weeks. You know, it's been intermittent sunshine and rain, and I mean really heavy rain, thunderstorms. So anyway, enough about that. Look at, look folks, we've got the window guy here today. Uh, we've got bathroom, toilet, bedroom, uh, the two other spare bedrooms on the ground floor. We've got the back door in place as well. Hold on, just let me grab the camera. So yeah, everything is just hunky-dory and everything is go, go, go. So let's have a quick look around. So this is going to be the main bedroom door on there. So you can see we've got a grey frame. Uh, we'll have opaque, like obscure white, whitish kind of glass. Um, yeah, you can see the doors frames are in there as well. The glass will go in later. I'm really happy. The back door's got a slight dip down to the to the um, outer area, so that's cool. And we'll get no water ingress because it does rain here quite a lot, and hopefully it's not going to flood. Uh, the kitchen window. Uh, we had a bit of a drama about the kitchen window because we we're wondering what to how to, what would I say? Blah, 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 blah. I just forgot what I was going to say there. Um, the, the style of the window, basically, how we're going to have the layout of the glass. Now, Twee almost ordered one with a window that opens or with windows split down the middle. And I, was, I had a heart attack, so I was like, no, we don't, we don't want the, the window obscured. You want, you want the glass at least up to that height and then just a small narrow window at the top so we went for that um, finally so after some debate everyone understood what i was talking about like having a 10 or 15 centimeter window at the top for ventilation and then just having a completely clear view out into the garden and just seeing the contrast of the the white against the green tree against the green shrubs and plants that we're going to have in the garden. So, sorry, the light's going to be terrible standing in front of the window. Okay, okay, how are we doing there? Looks like the white balance is okay. Woo! Okay. So, where are we at? Hey, okay, so, still a bit of a building site up at the house. Um, outside we've got bricks, sand, cement at the main entrance. You can just see behind me and there's still a lot of stuff, construction. Um, there's some scaffolding and stuff out the back, scaffolding boards, because I imagine we're gonna have some painting and stuff touching up to do. And some electrics to go in, because we've decided to get rid of the second water tank on the upper floor. So um, on one of our subscribers' advice, um, we decided to get rid of the water tank on the second floor and we're going for a pump. Now the pump, we haven't completely decided yet because, you know, 220 volts and water mixed together um, kind of worries me a little bit. And a lot of the, the water pipes here are plastic, which means they're gonna be non-conductive. So if there is a leak, it's only gonna follow the water. So um, I have to rectify that somehow by either putting a section of stainless steel flexible pipe in line or some copper pipe in line. Uh, make sure that the pump is completely earthed to a solid earth, like for example, the steel frame, which is you can just see out the back there, the steel frame of the water tower. 
So, sorry, I'm just getting out of camera view there. Yes, yeah, so if I just go outside and have a look, um, it's going to go really white now. I wonder how it's going to balance up to that. Okay, so you can see the steel frame behind me for the water tank. Now, it's concreted and bolted to the earth with a steel frame underneath, so I'm hoping that that's going to be enough of an uh, object to earth the, the pipes to. But as you can see out the back here, the pipes are plastic. Now, the valves are on the hot are brass, so I could potentially clamp something onto to that. Okay, so, yeah, we're going for, it looks like a pump. Now, we haven't decided whether we're going to stick to a 220-volt pump or uh, we'll install a 24-volt pump with lower water pressure but uh, safety in mind. The other way is we do the straight uh, 20 mil or three quarter inch 220 volt pump with lots of pressure and that gives all the cold water in the house like a nice flow especially in the kitchen and uh, in the bathroom if you want to hose the bathroom down or have a cold shower um, yeah so and then also maybe another secondary pump for the hot water system and that one could potentially be the 24 volt pump and just leave that plugged in outside because they're automatic they just they just kick in when the flow they've got a water set a flow sensor so there's a few things that have come to mind but the price difference between the 24 volt pump and the 220 volt pump there's not that much to be honest it's about a million dawn which is about um what's that 50 dollars so i mean I, I might as well be getting a higher powered pump in my mind so you can have a really blasting hot shower because um, I do like I like a shower I like a good strong shower something therapeutic about it, something therapeutic about it I think um, but saying that with 150 litre 160 litre water solar heater um, I might have to cut my shower time down from 10 to like three minutes to make sure that everyone can enjoy a nice hot shower instead of me being greedy guts just having a lavish 15 minute power shower okay so back to the windows as you can see yeah the bedroom and the other windows are here unglazed at the moment um, and the other thing that the glazers mentioned is we're gonna have to get some bars for security for the kitchen window and for the side kitchen window into the garden area. Second floor, I'm not worried about so much. Alternatively, for the, the back kitchen bit, alternatively, we could put a steel iron, wrought iron door out to the garden for like maximum security, but you know, we're having barbed wire around the brick walls out the back. Um, so I don't want to be too extreme. I don't, want to, I don't want to mess up with the view, to be honest. I mean, having bars on there, I mean, that's going to be super ugly. Mm. Well, I'm going to have to get our thinking caps on about that, what to do. Of course, Twee and Maya and baby security are um paramount but yeah what to do um, okay so that's me signing out folks um all the best everyone take care back home in the uk lots of weird stuff going on um the price hikes the petrol prices energy prices back home i just can't imagine how some people can handle it so all you folks out there take care peace ciao